I just don't want to burn out too fast before like the game actually comes out, okay? We, and we haven't played SAP like all week. I haven't even recorded any. By the way, I want to say something. This is how you know I'm a free thinker. Raspberry bubbly, okay? Bought it at the store. I don't believe I've ever tried the flavor before. Not one of their best flavors. I'm sorry to say. Stick with cherry. Cherry might be the best bubbly flavor. Um, I personally like orange. I think orange is pretty good. Blackberry is really good. The blackberry bubbly is, is a very solid flavor as well. Take one of you. Grapefruit? I do like a grapefruit flavored sparkling water. You should take this. You should take this. Cherry bubbly is disgusting. The world don't move to the beat of just one drum, okay? What might be right for you might not be right for some. Give me a jellyfish. Imagine squid. Spend the trumpet, which doesn't even exist, to fucking piss yourself off. Okay, maybe I won't, game. You ever think about that? Just watch the LaCroix tier list. What made you turn your back on them? Uh, LaCroix has luxury pricing, and yet they, in my personal opinion, have budget quality. That's what made me turn my back on LaCroix. LaCroix and Bubbly cost the same in... Uh, at least in Vancouver. There's a couple of things, though. LaCroix comes in 8-packs. Bubbly comes in 12-packs. So you're already paying 50% more for LaCroix. And on top of that, they don't have LaCroix at Costco here. So you're really losing out 2x when you compare it to the counterfactual of buying Bubbly at Costco, where you can get 24 Bubblies for like, you know, $14.99 or something. Let's try it. Night Crawler. Summon a crawler for each friend summoned this turn. I don't like the sound. I'll tell you that. Fresca clears. You know what? It's insane that still exists. What the fuck is club soda? And what do you use it for except getting like a stain out of a nice piece of clothing? Like I think one of the greatest lies that media told me growing up is that every adult's household had club soda in it. it would, they'd always like spill red wine on a carpet in a TV show and then they'd be like, oh, don't worry, I've got club soda. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't think I've ever opened anyone else's fridge and been like, oh, of course, there's the club soda. Hey, where do you keep your club soda? My God, it actually worked. Okay, so here's a, I just, this, I've been on the internet for a long time. People are like, lots of people use club soda for cocktails. That's not what I said. Here's what I said. Do you or do, Oppie, do you or do you not carry club soda in your house at all times? I know that shit is a fucking zero because I never see a cart with it at the grocery store. Have you ever gone to the grocery store and been like, oh shit, where's your Club Zero? And the clerk's like, oh, we're sold out. Yeah, it's been a big run on Club Zero recently. Or uh, Club Soda recently. They buy it online. Listen, you disingenuous so-and-so. I carry tonic. Well, I also, I got another bone to pick with tonic, if I'm being honest. How is it possible that tonic is like the closest analog to club soda, but club soda has zero calories and tonic is actually like the least healthy non-alcoholic beverage you can drink next to like an asbestos cocktail.
Like it is it for something that doesn't taste sweet, it has so much sugar in it that it's like mind blowing. I used to order gin and tonics thinking they were zero calories. That's <laughs> so that's a really funny story. Sincere that's that's really funny. Because I could totally see, like, it's not a huge logical leap to be like, they have zero calories. Maybe you just assume, like, it's that clear alcohol is relatively calorie-free. But then, like, you're like, tonic, tonic tastes like shit, so it must be zero calories. Oh, man. <laughs> you, when you find out that your gin and tonic has, like, 130 calories of gin and 400 calories of tonic... Just because it tastes like a nail polish remover. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I, I was the same way. Like, you know, in university, I would drink too much. And then I would get chubby. And I'd be like, oh, I have to cut down on my calories. Drink less? No, that's stupid. I'll just drink gin and tonics. Then you look at the back of the two liter. You had like a liter and a half of tonic in two hours. And you're like, what the fuck? There's like 1,400 calories of, of tonic. Also, tonic is fucking lucky that gin's at the function that's all i'm saying if it weren't for gin, if gin became illegal the tonic stocks are gonna plummet you would not be able to find it anywhere you'd have to buy it out of some dude's trench coat on the wrong side of the tracks i don't know about club soda i'm still trying to figure out the club soda angle <laughs> how, how i'm going to approach this club soda my dad works at the club soda. Oh, I, was, I don't have anything against your father, okay? If anything, we want this. Give me two rats, please. Me at the buy one, get one free rat sale. I've lost the plot on this one. I don't know what I'm cooking anymore, but it is working. How do you get your quinines in? My ass just is lucky enough, I guess, to live in an area that is not riddled with malaria. Now, I apologize if that makes me out of touch. It might. I've been accused of it before, for sure. Triple camel. I mean... Could also make your hippo good. It's interesting to think about, at least. I once asked an alchemist for a gin and tonic. He gave me a ginseng tonic, and now my hair is as thick as iron. With all due respect, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> but also, plus two? <laughs> <Are you? laughs> Have you traveled here from the court of King Arthur? That's a good bit. Guy, guy, time traveler from King Arthur's court tries to blend in in Twitch chat. Hey, NL, what are your thoughts on ordering more than one spell from the wizard? Personally, I think, especially if you're in a small town that only has one wizard, it's a little uncouth to take so much of their time getting such a a prodigious sample of <laughs> spells. We can work on that, dude. We can work on that. Hey, Anel, have you ever asked the wizard to cast a spell and then he hits you with like a dope rhyme, but just a little bit of smoke comes out of his wand and then it's really uncomfortable and you got to be like, uh, can I have my money back? Long gone were the days that she slugged me. So true, so true. Men be like, hello barkeep. Can I have a, t a goblet of ale please? Women be like, mm, excuse me, tavern keeper, can I have a calf skin of red wine? <laughs> so true, man. 
Don't you hate it when you go to take a dip and this lady keeps giving you a sword like I'm off the clock right now? This is a good bit, man. This is a good bit. I went on a date with a guy who ordered like that. This this is not gonna work, man. This this I mean not your date, that might have gone fine for all I know, but like this this build is not gonna work. I don't know how to say this this is a, a public service announcement for the men out there. You should be true to yourself on on a date, okay? In my opinion. You should rep represent yourself in the best way possible, um, without misrepresenting yourself. That being said, if I could ask you to do something, unless it's a core element of your personality, do not ask the server if they have mead at the function, okay? The mead, it's not, I know that you're thinking that it gives off like classy sort of like vibes. The, the, everybody knows the overlap in the Venn diagram between mead drinkers and like other hobbies, okay? You gotta like maybe, <laughs> Like, order a beer or something like that, or a cocktail, and then, like, two years later, after you're, like, living together, you could come home from the store with some mead, and then it's too late. What's she gonna do? She's gonna break up with you because you started, you've revealed yourself to be a mead drinker? No shot. It's too late at that point. You can get away with it. But, like, you gotta be on your best behavior for the first couple, <laughs> for the first couple dates, at least. Are we still in the medieval bit? I guess it kind of works as both, but I was being sincere. I got it. Hide your power level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hide your power level. Exactly. Why do I have... Oh, I have tier ones frozen for a good purpose. How long do you hide your kombucha? You shouldn't hide it at all. You should be like, yeah, I make my own kombucha. That's my two cents. I mean, you got to read the room in that situation, but I personally wouldn't, wouldn't hide that. She'll be like, oh, this guy shits. So true. <laughs> Anyone know why the Canucks have like five away games in a row? Uh, the league has a, they have a, a vendetta against the Canucks. They hate us, even though it doesn't make any sense because we're like a mid-market team on the Canadian Pacific coast. But we're living rent-free in their head, bro. We're living rent-free in their head. No, I think there's some truth to, oh, right. I forgot what I was doing on this build. I think there's some truth to that VIP Daniel. I think that the NHL, um, and this was like, nobody would have argued with it at the time. I think they thought that we were gonna be ass. So they said, oh, whatever, give them 12 away games in a row. Like, who cares? They're gonna lose them at home anyway. <laughs> you might as well. I'm putting the system on trial. Watch this. Almost picked up tickets tonight. Sometimes, and I, I love to go see the hockey games. I mean, many people would say like the good old hockey game is the best game I can name. Sometimes they come in here with like a wink and a nod and they go, hey, NL, it must suck that you like gave up your uh, like quarter season tickets and you only got to experience, oh, we lost again. Um, you only got to experience the Canucks being ass in person. Now that they're good, I bet you regret that decision. And I'm like, no hockey game is as good as getting like eight hours of sleep a night and not having to deal with a super packed sky train full of like drunk assholes or like pay $40 for parking and then $12 for a beer at the game. 
Going to live sports is great. Like, I think if I was on vacation, I would be like, let's go see a hockey game here. But then, like, to just, on, like, a Tuesday, to be like, I have to go see the Canucks play, like, the Columbus Blue Jackets, I, I'm not about that. <laughs> maybe when I'm, maybe when I'm retired, I'll be like, it's Tuesday, it's Blue Jackets at Canucks. But, like, right now, I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta go to Blue Jackets at Canucks, this shit's gonna end at, like, 9.30, it's going to take me 45 minutes to get home. It's going to be 10, 15. And I got like shit to do. <laughs> I'd rather like eat dinner, do the dishes, do all the shit that I have to do. And then like go to sleep and wake up and check the score. That's where I'm at right now. I'll watch the playoffs though. I'm kind of at the level right now where I like ambiently keep the game on TV. I'm like, oh, dude, I'm so excited. There's a Canucks game on right now. Then I turn it on the TV and like go to the kitchen and do other stuff while I'm like listening to the, the commentary. How about a... Fragile sock. This is standard married with kids, my brother in Christ. I know, which I appreciate you saying that, because now you realize how fucked up it is that I have to continually like defend myself every time I say it. Like I, I am describing to chat like the way that the average 35-year-old person lives, and they're like, you're a hundred. You're the oldest man I've ever seen. When I'm 35, I'm gonna be slugging mead and going to see uh, every single, I'm gonna go see a, a matinee, a Wednesday matinee of Oppenheimer 2, and then I'm gonna go see the Canes at the Blue Jackets. I'm at the Wizard every night. Where are you at? Um, I talked to the Wizard, he said he doesn't know you. Ooh, awkward. It's crazy, like, when we had dinner with friends on Friday, it's uh, a husband and wife with two kids, and the husband and wife are, like, the same age as us. You don't know the effects that, like, streaming has on your mental. Because I think the human brain is designed to find consensus in whatever group it's in. It's designed to, to like, be socially lubricating so like everybody gets along and we're so tribal that we're like I need to maintain my standing within the tribe etc cetera, etc cetera. what that means is that I oftentimes forget that you motherfuckers are insane and not a an adequate or accurate representation of the average human being on planet earth so I'm you got to remember like 99% of the socialization that I get on a weekly basis is Twitch chat. That fucks with your head, and I think I do a pretty good job of, like, building barriers up to, to stay normal, but it even fucks with my head. So I'll be talking to, like, normal people, and I'll be like, yeah, I don't know if it's like this for you, but uh, after a day of playing with my kid, I'm a little tired, and I'm, like, wincing. I'm like, they're gonna be like, you're a bad dad. You're a bad dad. And they're like, no, that's normal. Everybody is. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, really? All right, this is how normal people feel and talk to each other. <laughs> this is this is how social interaction normally goes. Do you plus two people in conversation? Yeah, I've been known to laugh from time to time. And uh, now that's an interesting setup here. That's a very interesting setup. <clears throat> I said Pog IRL for the first time a few days ago, and I still think about it. I don't think you got to apologize for that. I think Pog has made it into the parlance, honestly. You do have to know your audience. Like, I mean, if you're talking to, like, your 62-year-old, like, HR manager or something, you're going to have to explain what that means. But if you're talking to, like, a 28-year-old person... I think there's a reasonable chance that, that even the most normie amongst us 
would have a reasonable idea of what pog means. When you accidentally use Thuringian dialogue when speaking to your liege, but he kind of was expecting you to bring more of a bohemian lilt to the function. Ooh. <laughs> What's that? Wait, what? Pog, what is that that you just said? Oh, in, in Thurin back in Thuringia, that's what we said when something was, when we were excited about something. We said we were pog it up. Thuringian, huh? Thuringian. What am I doing? You're getting cooked, yes. You don't deserve to be on the squad anymore, sorry to say. Hippocampus, we know it, it can bring a certain je ne sais quoi. This is a beautiful situation. I think we've, we've done a beautiful thing here. It's the same squad, but better. That's the sort of shit that'll piss you off. <laughs> I said cantrip instead of spell a few weeks ago, and I still think about it. <laughs> now that is shameful. What aren't I? Apologies for this. I'm not. Uh, I guess I would say I'm not much of a Dungeons and Dragons Andy. I'm more of a Dungeons and Dragons anti, if we're being honest. Um, aren't a cantrip and a spell basically the same thing, but a cantrip is something you can only use like a certain amount of times, and a spell is something that you can use over and over? It's the opposite. A cantrip is something you can use multiple times. A spell has a certain number of usage uses. Okay. All right. Interesting. Delightful. You know what? I'll, I'll smoke you here. Why not? Give me some of this. I, I, I kind of feel like the Dear God, it has scaling potential, for sure. Maybe we actually want this for now. Holy cow, chat's going crazy. <laughs> Note. Get him talking about Dungeons and Dragons. That'll keep him busy. Generally, you get up to four level X spells to use per day, getting a new level of spells every two class levels. Yeah, that's wasn't that what I said in just different words? <laughs> Is that true? In Dungeons and Dragons, sleeping replenishes your spells? Because maybe you're not ready for this discourse yet, but that's fucking funny. You're like, ah, fireball, fireball. Ooh. Ah, I feel like I could cast two more fireballs today. That was a great sleep. Magic missile, magic missile. That's just like real life. My ass has never casted a fireball. A blue angel, maybe? Sure, but a fireball? No such luck. We win these. Easy. Try sleeping more? I wish, man. I wish. You're not wrong, though. Oh, look at... Uh, what about a little bacon plus a, uh, a rooster? It's an interesting kind of mindset for us here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't afford to lose. My ass when I cast bacon. So true. <laughs> we can't get into the bacon discourse again, right? Like it's too soon. The discourse is very simple. I think bacon is, is one of the most overhated foods on the planet. And I think if you still think it's overrated, it's, it could just be a difference of opinion or the other possibility is that you're still living in 2012. 
where you think everyone is like, bacon salt, I put bacon salt on my bacon, so my bacon tastes even baconier. Streamers, when the band starts playing copywritten hymns. <laughs> okay, we're, we're past the medieval bit, okay? It's a good comment, don't get me wrong, but we're, we're moving past it now. It's spicy, that. Would they allow me? They won't allow me. They will not allow me. I don't really want your ass to kill anyone. I'd rather run four squatted on this, bro, and get a big rooster out there next time. I, it, it's rough for me too, because I already know like exactly what medieval me as a streamer would be like. I would be like, yeah, so I had my forever stew again. People would be like, again? How long has that been in the cauldron? I'd be like, mm, 18 months. They'd be like, bro, you're gonna get sick. You're gonna get sick. I'm like, it's, are you stupid? It's hot, bro. It's soup. How is it gonna imbalance my humors, okay? And then like a week later, I'd be like, sorry guys, can't toil today. I have diarrhea. Or as we call it in the medieval era, a normal poops. What do you think about this? Is this gonna kill my whole squad immediately? <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Yes, it will. All right. So you're saying, like, don't do it then. I really thought that it would uh, at least give me the stats before it murdered the thing, but now that I think about it, it, it makes sense that it doesn't. Though it irritates me, it makes sense. Oh, you mana user. Mana user. What's wrong with using mana? They know what they did, bro. Don't take their side. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I, have, I have no clue what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's kind of cooking though. It's like it's kind of working. We are at six wins. What's the hippocampus doing? That's a good point, I guess, when you think about it. I was hoping maybe it would like level up at some point, but I guess they don't think it'd be like that, but it do. Tell you what. I would love to run a red dragon on the squad and make him crispy. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with you, man. Transform your deer god? But he's giving me so much free bacon, bro. No crispy, you're crispy. We win these. No, he's not. You're not putting units ahead of him? Well, that's because this time I needed the crispiness. You wouldn't understand. I think your ass is doing nothing, so become... Raccoon, get out of here with that. I should have leveled him up first. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Mods, make him faint. Kate, Kate, Kate. What did you say? Wow, has NL always looked this hot? Well, 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 it seems like the hacker got access to her uh, Twitch account as well. Mods, can we get a permaban in here? I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Caught. 
me exporting that to TikTok. When your wife shows up in Twitch chat, necessary context here at the Twit Longer. It's like, shh. you ever see the, the meme that says leftist memes be like, and it's just a wall of text? Anyway, you get it. Okay, let me think about this. Mods, knock out this hamster. Ryan has been a true hero. Hero, huh? I like the sound of that. She's not lying, though. <laughs> I've been doing a lot. <laughs> I was telling Chad, like, so, I mean, like, on, on top of the, you know, talking to Google support for you. Because that's the thing is, like, when Kate's Google account got compromised, you have to have, like, a Google account to contact Google. <laughs> so, like, every step of the process is, like, log into the Google account that's been compromised and fill out this form. And I got to be, I gotta be like, the go-between and be like, she can't actually fill out the form because she's, her Google account's been compromised. But on top of that, I did, like, a lot of parenting yesterday because Kate was changing her password for everything. I was, like, I was getting real mad at our daughter. When I finally got her to bed... And then I went to sleep and I woke up 30 minutes later to her pointing the Elsa magic wand at me going. And she was just smiling. I was like, go to bed. <laughs> then she went to bed and I was like, she doesn't really know how to tuck herself in too well. So I like went to her room and then I tucked her in nicely and I said, I love you, honey. Then I went back to bed and 20 minutes later, it's like a repeat. I'm like, go to bed. <laughs> I was losing it, man. Sure, you, you could kill this laddie. He doesn't do anything anyway. Level up the rooster. Level up my rooster. You're not going to level up my rooster? I, tr I tried in many ways, in no uncertain terms. We didn't even get the freaking toy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> She did say in the morning, Dad, Daddy was sleeping. He didn't know I was next to him. Giggle, giggle. Yeah, that's real funny. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Eight wins. They will not divide us. We will get to ten, okay? I'm sure this is, like, one of the most relatable dad stories. But, like, she doesn't want to... I'll be a bad streamer. She doesn't want to go to bed. And then in the morning, she doesn't want to wake up. And I'm trying to like gently explain to her that, that there is like the same solution for both of these problems. I'm like, if you just go to bed when I put you in the bed, then you'll be well rested when I wake you up. But instead you fight going to bed. And then that means you get less sleep than you should have had. And then when you wake up, you're like, oh, I need more sleep. And I'm like, well, then you should have gone to bed when I told you to go to bed, lady. She doesn't really get it. Joaquin Phoenix voice, you wouldn't get it. I haven't solved that one yet either. D.L. Guiga, you will. Once, you know, I'm assuming for the next, like, five plus months, you're going to be waking up one to two times every night to help out with some feedings. Once that ends, get ready for like old man tiredness to, to step in. Nowadays, I, I always have liked sleep. And even before we had our daughter, I was like, you know, like I, I liked going to bed on time and waking up on time. But definitely like once her sleeping habits were at the point where she slept through the night, I was like, well, it's like I put her to bed at like 8.58 and I'm like, ah, oh, time to have some free time. And then at like 9.07, I'm like, <laughs> dear Lord, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. But it is nice to kill this without having to spend a, a pill on it. And maybe perhaps again, perhaps once more. Because he's a morning person. My wife is telling no lies. It's true. 
I am a, I am a morning person who falsely thought that he was a uh, an evening person. I, f I falsely thought that I was a night owl just because I stayed up late. Once I started getting up early, it was like everything clicked. I was like, wait a minute. This is the way it should have been the whole time. Kate is truly a night owl, yes. And I hate to say it, but uh, I think our daughter is a night owl as well. Which is why I'm so pissed off. <laughs> she hates going to bed. Wow, that's a strong lad. You kind of cooked me with that one. Go ahead. You come to the front. Take some garlic. You never know. It might come in handy. <sighs> we got to do better than this, man. Keep buying ants. Well, you don't like a... <laughs> hey, hey, just think about it, okay? It's a three... Well, it's a, it's a three cost... 1-1 one, one buff that also comes with bacon. So it's a 3 cost, 3-1 th buff. Okay, I'm going to stop buying ants. You will buy the ants. You will fuck the bugs. You will <laughs> hmm. What about, okay, you get out of, well, no, you moved, I'm going to stop buying ants, but I'm not going to stop killing ants because we already got one on the damn squad. It just makes sense. Yeah, keep buffing the unit I'm about to sell. I appreciate it. Bro's rocking a slug, you genius. You just saved me. You should be running a slug in front so you get extra bacon triggers and you still have a unit at least. It's not really like a great unit, but it's, at least it's doing something. I have a feeling we're going to lose some more rounds, so I'm okay with this. Imagine stonefish killing the dear lord. <laughs> Imagine. I like this. Give me an old mouse and kill nothing. Yoink. He's still playing sap. This is the last one, then we're going back to Balatro because I'm washed at sap. You fool, you had duplicate units. Nice squad, too bad um, some of your units were duplicates. <laughs> what the heck is Red Riding Hood? Friend jump to give all friends a permanent buff. You're actually fucking garbage, bro. You're fucking trash. What? Don't be mad at me. He's the one that sucks. Crickets. Crickets for that? Embarrassing. I don't know what I'm looking for. Bono be like... <laughs> what are you doing? Get squirrel? How would that even work? I guess you get squirrel and then you could sell your mouse. But I feel like the mouse has not helped us out at all anyway, but maybe that's just me being rude. Bono knows what he's looking for, he just hasn't found it yet. All right, pedantic ass. Just for that, you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with The Undertaker. If anything can save this build, a dragon can save this build. And then we get one free slot every time anyway. Get, get out of here, you suck. Get thee to a nunnery. You know what I'm saying? 
Bro's really gonna make his whole squad hinge on a level two axe handle hound. <laughs> Plus two for the old ass reference. That's not that old, bro. Get thee to a nunnery? That's like from Hamlet. That's like pretty contemporary in like a cosmic sense. You're only buffing two things this way? Hmm. Suppose you're right. And when you're right, you're right. I don't know what we're doing with this goose, man. <laughs> I don't know what we're it's a, it's a damn disaster. Shirt. We're in. One heart, three wins, and a dream. No! I had a... I was, my duplicate was the thing that kills duplicates! Alright. This weekly is too hard for me. Goodbye. I'm going to play Candy Crush Saga.